Trademarks are everywhere and the rules around trademarks can be difficult to understand. So in this video, we're going to look at deceptive similarity and how you can avoid it. Deceptive similarity is when a trademark resembles another trademark so closely that a reasonable person would likely wonder if the two products come from the same source. The trademarks won't be compared side to side. This is because most people don't have a photographic memory and will have an imperfect recollection of the mark. Instead, the test considers the overall impression of the mark left on the mind of an average consumer. When looking at deceptive similarity, the court will consider several different factors, including the appearance of the mark, how the words sound, the nature of the goods, the reputation of the trademark, and all other surrounding circumstances. Let's have a look at some examples of how the courts have applied the test of deceptive similarity. Both the sound and the appearance of the marks will be considered. The court will look at the possibility of slurred pronunciation, distortion of the words through the phone, and how the syllables of the words sound. For example, it was found that barley sounded deceptively similar to burly. The marks were not visually alike, but phonetically they sounded similar enough that a consumer would likely be confused between them. This case also emphasised that the test is of an average consumer's knowledge of the brands and not of someone with trade knowledge. Therefore, even though someone with specific knowledge of the brands could probably tell them apart, there is still a real danger that an ordinary consumer would likely be confused as to if the products came from the same source. How the beginning of a word sounds is particularly important. The words dracastroid and castrol were not found to be deceptively similar because only the middle of the words sound alike. It is also important to remember that invented or fancy words that are not commonly used in the English language are more likely to be considered deceptively similar. This is why the invented mark erectico was found to be deceptively similar to erector. Even when two trademarks look and sound different, they can still be deceptive similarity if they contain the same essential features. This is why the marks Dialin Angel and Guardian Angel were found to be deceptively similar. While the words themselves were unlikely to cause confusion, and visually the marks contained substantial differences, both marks contained an angel caring for children. Because trademarks are remembered by the general impression they create, it was held that a consumer is likely to simply remember the essential features of an angel and children, meaning the marks are likely to cause confusion because of the similar impression they create. The fame or notoriety of a mark can have an impact on the test of deceptive similarity. For example, in the case of Campomar and Nike, Campomar sold a Nike sports fragrance and applied for trademark registration in a class that Nike had no registration in. Initially, in 1986, it was held that there was no likelihood of confusion because they were registered in different classes. But in 1992, when Nike had become globally recognised and had a significant reputation in Australia, the court held that Campomar's mark was deceptively similar. However, fame can have a different effect. As in the case of Mars and Sweet Rewards, malt balls were held not to be deceptively similar to Maltesers because of the widespread reputation of the Maltesers mark. It was found that an average consumer would be unlikely to wonder if Sweet Rewards malt balls were manufactured by Mars. To summarise, Deceptive similarity isn't a side-by-side -side test. Instead, the overall impression a mark leaves on a consumer's mind will be considered. There are many factors which the court may look at depending on the nature of the marks in question, but essentially you must ask, is there a real danger that an ordinary person would likely confuse the marks because of their similarities?